G'day, I'm the Aussie Mudlark. Thanks for joining me again. As you can probably see behind me, I'm in um, central London again. Thought I'd come into old London town and see if we can find some of that old London history. So um, let's wander down to the foreshore, see if we can find some history in the mud. When I'm underneath the bright lights, when I'm trying to have a good time, Cause I'm good now, you ain't mine, na 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 Don't call me up when you're looking at my photos Getting hot, losing control You want me more, now I let go, na 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 I'm over you and I don't need your lies no more Cause the truth is without you, boy, I'm stronger And I know Don't call me up, I'm going out tonight Feeling good now you're out of my life Don't wanna talk about us Gotta leave it behind One drink and you're out of my mind Nah, nah, take it out Baby, I'm on the high And you're alone going out of your mind But I'm here up in the club And I don't wanna talk So don't call me up Cause I'm here looking fine, babe And I got eyes looking my way And everybody's on my vibe, babe Nah, 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 nah. Alright, well I'm here now as you can see, the tide's not really low yet, so time to get ready. So, knee pads, sun bum, as you can tell, it's a lovely sunny day. But, um, notice something missing? Yeah. No trowel. So, back in the spot here where it, um, oh, that's a great idea. I can see the camera, I can see my reflection. Um, so, spot here, there's no scraping, no digging. So it's going to be eyes only. So it's, um, I love coming to this spot. It's nice now, it's a bit quieter too. Um, but it's sort of hit and miss. Because of the age here, it's sort of all or nothing. You either find, well I find anyway, you find something incredibly old and amazing, or you'll just find nothing. So um, it's good, it's worth it. But um, if you don't get your hopes up, it's a good day. But hey, look at the weather. And my opinion, you know, even a bad day on the foreshore, it's better than a good day in the office, so I'll take it. So let's get ready. Let's go down. Let's see if we can find some history in the Thames, mate. Don't call me up. I'm going out tonight. Feeling good and now you're out of my life. Don't want to talk about us. Gotta leave it behind. One drink and you're out of my mind. Nah, nah, take it out. Baby, I'm on the high and you're alone going out of your mind. But I'm here up in the club. And I don't want to talk. So don't call me up. Cause I'm here looking fine, babe And I got eyes looking my way And everybody's on my vibe, babe Nah, 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 nah Don't call me up My friend said you were a bad man I should've listened to them back then And now you're trying to hit me up again Nah, 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 nah I'm over you And I don't need your lies no more Cause the truth is that you, boy, I'm stronger And I know you said that Piece of 
glasses. Oh, two pieces. It's funny, setting to each other, one it was like a lemonade. Perfect vision. Okay, I wonder if you can see what I can see. Hopping around on a high tide, sorry, low tide mark, but the top of the waterline there. Okay, I think that feels like it's bone. Okay, it's got a hole. So if it's got half of a hole, it's snapped where there, there was a hole put in it. And it's bone. Hmm, well that certainly looks like it's, it's old, doesn't it? It's got some age to it. What on earth could it be though? There's nothing like nothing that I've found before. Okay, here we go. Time, for do, time to do some history hunting. Find out what that could be. Had enough of me finding pins, let me know, but I try to stop, but you just can't help it. But have a look at that. Let's see if I pick it up or not. Look at that beautiful one. Uh, can I get reach in there? Look at the head on that. Handmade. Twisted around to make that top. No more pins, I promise. Well, I kind of promise. Now, completely camouflaged in the black mud is a black, which looks like a, it's got a tight face. Some printing, I'd say. Now, extra points if you can see what's written on the top of that, what letter that is. I can't tell, it's too small to focus on either. So chances of seeing that? Nil, none, non-existent. Okay. Well, I just bumped into Sammy, another mudlark down here in the foreshore, who gave me these couple of shoe soles. Now this is a Victorian shoe sole, but look, look, the old toe mark, look how much it's been worn. That's a nice find. And this one is Georgian. So see the difference? Um, like he explained, the top is square. So that's a left foot. That was either left or right. They just, there was a foot, not a left foot or a right foot, just a foot. So no, two of those which were exactly the same. They're pretty cool, aren't they? More maker's marks. M, L. I love watching items wash around in the water. You see the movie, realize how soon they're gonna get washed out and never seen again. Can you see down there? I think that could be a lace aglet. It looks very lusted to me. Let's have a look. Oh, it is. It's had a rough life down here. But look at that um, golden sheen on it. How beautiful. So this thing's very delicate. I'm not going to clean it up much, but look at the shine on it. Can you see that in the sun? It's glistening. Absolutely glistening. Okay, that'll be a fun one to clean up. I'll post a photo of that in a minute. Look at this lovely clay pipe down here. It's got a stem. No, it doesn't. Um, oh, that's, that's a lovely age though. That's a um, very old 1600s pipe. Not early, I'd say late, because it says it's size. It's not tiny, tiny. Let's just look at the bulbousness to it. So, nice old pipe. Nice old pipe bowl. Okay, so not only is this round, it's shiny, and it's gold. But no, I don't think it's a gold coin. But, right there, if I keep my shadow out of the way. Um, what have we got?
buried clay pipe here. Now, because it's around so many rocks, I expect it's going to be damaged. But, um, oh, it's actually almost whole. Any maker's marks on there? No, no. Anything on the bottom? Nothing that I can see on here. It's a nice, nice, nice bowl. 16, 1700s. Can't tell actually without the rest of the top there. Now what is strange, seeing a pipe, um, and ah, it's gone, it's back, and not grabbing my trowel. So, oh, oh, she's dug in a bit. Let's see if I can twist it. Okay, she's kind of loose. Oh, got a bit of a stem to it. Oh, ooh. Slightly like top, but a nice stem on it. That's a good one. Just as the tide's coming in, there's another pipe hole and a pipe stem. Why do they go together? There's the chances. Oh, that's nice. Look at that one. It's very long, isn't it? Does that fit? Actually does. Like, out of the way. Sorry about the camera work. Um, I believe that actually would fit. Is that it? It's hard to do it with one hand, but it's the right size. I'd say that's a um a match. I'll kick it around there somewhere. Ah, cool. What well, a nice find. Lace aglet just poking out of the mud, but it's been buried, and it's just being uncovered. Well, that's a nice one, crushed by rocks over the years, but that is going to come up a treat. A little bit of shine again, going under the water. Look at that, that's, that's a lovely 1600s pipe. And look at the detail on the top. So I need to watch out, I'm about to get um, covered by a boat wash. But what I noticed in the water, you can see it here on the scrub. Look at that maker's mark. Is that TD or a JD? I think it's a TD, you know. Look at Wow, that's a beautiful pipe. That is one of my best. Absolutely lovely. If I get some of this mud out, I don't think I'm going to, it's too caked in. Look at that tiny, my dirty thing, look at that tiny hole in it, look at compared to my thumb. So it is an absolutely beautiful little pipe. I'd say 16, 10 to 1640, so very early 1600s. So I'm very happy with that find. I think I recognize that under the water. Well, that's an appropriate thing to find, isn't it? After finding that um, lovely 1600s pipe bowl, we find the equivalent of the um, 21st century. I'm almost tempted to put under rock and leave it here for someone to find in another um, 400 years. And the mysterious oyster shells Square cut out. Can I be uh, Oh wow, eh? What a cameraman. 
So, who's got an idea why they've got the holes in them? And there's lots of theories. If you've got an idea, let me know. Hey? Put a comment. Let me know what you think. Why you think they have the square holes. I'd love to know. Hear what people think. And there's another one. This time with a round hole. I'm not going to do that weird camera work again. Roundish, roundish, squarish. Very round that one. All right, well, um, I've decided to get the metal detector out. But because where we were, I wasn't allowed to um, scratch the surface at all. I've got to jump across to the other side of the Thames, onto the other foreshore, where I can um, scrape down a bit into the mud if I get a good signal. So um, let's jump over there and see what we can find. All right, well, I found myself a lovely little spot down here on the sand. Okay. Could be down at Brighton. Um, so um, let's see if I remember how to put this metal detector together. I've only had it down on the Thames twice, I think, and it was probably about um, a year ago. So um, I'm not expecting to have a lot of luck. It's gonna be a bit of a learning day, I think. So um, anyway, it's a bit of fun. It's something different rather than eyes only. So I'm going to have to scrape around, but I think I'm going to find a lot of rubbish. But if I can find, you know, one or two good things amongst it, um, it's a win. So let's, let's put this together and have some fun.
first find. What's gonna be? Yeah, it's gonna be a bottle cap. Hey, well as I was expecting, and I bet it'll be the first of many. Lovely, exciting bottle cap. All right, well my first proper target, which I don't think is anything great, I found a signal here and I scratched it away and over here popped up, which I think's modern. That's a coin. It's my first coin. Yeah. Is that a Queen Elizabeth 1P, I imagine. Yep, you see that? 2003. Um, yeah, look at look at how it's deteriorating. If I am close to a little boardwalk there, so I'm expecting to find a few modern coins until the tide actually gets where I want it to. So, um, oh, well, it's a start. I know I can find coins. Just got to find old coins now. Okay, well, I'm in a spot where there's a lot of iron. So I've decided to mix it up a little bit. I'm gonna get the I'll get the detector out a few times. But I'm also gonna get back to um to scraping with my trusty trowel. Um, but it's just scraping a little bit of this lovely old black mud which is just hiding underneath this sand. And it's um amazing. I know I know I said I wouldn't talk about pins, but just it's the ones that come out of the mud. Um, but the ones that are on the top are just, you know, plain brown. But have a look at the color of that. When they've been in the mud, in that anaerobic mud, look what it does to the, look what it does to them. Look at that, it looks like they're, they're, they're gold-plated pins. It's amazing, isn't it? So like I said, no more pin, no more pin talk. Okay, that's the last time I'm talking about pins. Very tiny. Sometimes I think, how do I actually find these things? But, um, where's the light? There's the light. Can you see that? That is what I found one um, a few weeks back. Um, it's a air rifle pallet or a slug gun pallet. So age, I don't know. They're obviously not that easy to trace. There's no numbering. But um, if anyone would have any idea what age that could be, please leave a comment below. I'd love to find out. That's, so that's the only the second one I've ever found down here, I think. Tiny little things. All right, what do we think that could be? Ceramic? Or fossil? Ooh, that looks like a fossilized mushroom to me. No, but seriously, it does, doesn't it? I don't think it's, um... Wow, unless it's a very rustic -y ceramic, which I... doesn't look like it. Seriously, that really looks like a fossilised mushroom. All right, three options. What am I going to go for? The pin? No, I'm trying to avoid the pins. The pipe. Or do I go... The shoe sole. Okay, let's see if we can... Extract that a little bit. Oh, that was easy. Oh, she's folded up, and um, that's one fat shoe. So that's a whopper. Dirty hands. Alright. Oh, I don't think there's enough on that to tell the age. Whoever it was. Big feet. Very big feet. Okay, well, I just had a little poke at this. I haven't even lifted it out yet, but the shape. It re oh, well, that is what I was hoping that. We can see why that interested me. That is a little horn, I think. Cool. Now, what would have a horn that size? Um, goat? A sheep? Or a sheep male and female? Is it a ewe? Oh, I don't know. Um, what do you reckon? Let's give it a little wash up, shall we? 
Oh, come back, water. Water, water, come on. That's it. Ah, so much now I'm underwater. It's all or nothing around here. Um, cool. Lovely little horn from a smallish animal, I'd say. My first horn. Well, there's a decent chunk of pottery. Look at the thickness of that. That would have been a big vase or something. The landscape scene. Interesting finds right next to each other. One, where are we? Right here. Which looks like an old what, watch or clock. Be a big, either a big pocket watch or a small clock hand, I'd imagine. You know, tick, tick, tick. Um, and what else do I see around here? There we go, just that looks like. Potentially a, a paste stone, broken. It's, it's shattered there. A lovely old paste stone. Again, because we're right in this lovely old grey black mud. Well, when you see things and you can tell that they just look a little bit old. See, that looks like a chain. It looks like it's coming apart at the end. And it's going into the mud up there. Oh, it's moving, it's not very long. Okay. Hmm. Now, could that be straightened out an earwax cleaner? Potentially, that's your handle. And that roundy bit there, I know it's a bit grim to talk about. Um, that would go in your ear and scoop out the earwax. Um, there's a good chance that's what that is. That'd be pretty cool. An earwax cleaner. That'd be very cool, actually. <laughs> That'd be funny cool. could have picked up a hundred pins today but like I said it's not pin day so I'm not going to talk about pins because today's weird finds day you know? today's fossilized mushrooms and goat's horns and earwax cleaners and cool weird stuff like that all right back on the detector and I just scraped this little area with a signal. Well, so now it's actually covered back in, filled in with water. But where was it? Came to the side. I found. There we go. Coin. That looks like Queen Elizabeth to me. A bit brown. Not her, the coin. Um, does that say 19? 90, 1999. Penny. Cool. Cool design though on a penny, isn't it? Really? Good like that. Okay, well since I've found that coin before, I have dug absolute rubbish for about half an hour, but I think I've found something good finally. Now yeah, it's either a bit of a watch item which I don't think so I'll try to clean it when it's in there that looks like a toy wheel to me 
we'll get that. There's enough water in here to wash it. Yes, I think that's what it is. Okay. Now I have found a few toy items before. Not a wheel though. But um so that would be lead I imagine. I think you can get pewter toys. I imagine it's lead, lead or pewter. And um maybe sixteen hundreds, I'd guess seventeen hundreds. That's a nice one. into wit yeah. that's how i say it isn't it yeah wit down the foreshore here and yeah. found some really cool stuff that i wanted to show you so um as you can see a few pipe bowls pipe stems but two lovely things i don't mind me grabbing them which looks this looks like a musket ball which we um it's a lovely small one um 1500s to 1800s and he just picked it up just about 30 seconds ago, right here. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Happy man, <laughs> happy man. <laughs> now have a look what else you find. Now this is amazing. You might look in there and go, oh, I don't see anything exciting, but this is a bone, we believe, a bone gaming counter. Yep. So that could be Roman. So maybe Witz just found himself his first piece of Roman. Yeah, yeah, this is the first piece, yep. probably. <laughs> so I'm sure you'll go and research it and yeah, put it on one of the, um, website see what people say but it's potentially could be roman yes. so that would be awesome okay. there we go I'll put it back hey, congratulations hey, hey. all right well that's me done for the day hope you enjoyed it um hope you enjoyed the more unusual finds i found today so um thanks for watching now if you want to subscribe click on that little button down there um it'd be good if you did thank you and if you want to watch another episode there should be one on that side you can watch that so once again, thanks for watching. Um, see you next time.